fashion design sketching program. But this weekend, the one I have open until midnight Sunday is my iPad. Actually, it's not only for iPad, it's also for tablets and Androids. Um, the, it's, it teaches you three fashion illustration apps, but it's a course that's for all levels and um, it's fashion illustration, but focusing on faces. There's reasons why I do that, so I'll talk to you about that. And also tell you why there's just three, because I've really become comfortable and skilled in maybe five apps, and I think I'm gonna add some in there. It's just that I didn't wanna overwhelm people as they signed up for the course. If you look at my Instagram, um, my Instagram is my name, Laura Volpentesta. And um, for the past, oh my gosh, five months, I've been using only one app to create my fashion illustrations. So if you look there, um, you'll get a sense of what's possible with this one app. Um, when I say app, I mean you download an app through Google Play or the um, Apple App Store. And when you get these apps, which are about $5 each, so the biggest investment in a course like this is actually getting a tablet or an iPad. Um, you can also use a touch phone, but the touch phones have a much smaller screen, of course. And sometimes the apps have a few less tools in the phone and more tools in an iPad. Um, but the amazing thing is that when you explore faces, you're, it's not fashion per se, as in it's not about design details in clothes, but you're getting comfortable with telling a story about fashion, telling a story about people, about expressing yourself. And so this class is kind of like a, a two-sided class. By the way, the the link to the course sign up, it's funny, I was gonna do an Instagram Live and then I hopped on here. Um, you can either use the link in my bio to visit my website, fashionillustrationtribe.com, and in the menu header, you'll see the courses under Freedom Fashion. This one is a digital drawing class called About Faces. But if you go to my Instagram, Laura Volpentesta, my name on Instagram, um, and you click in my bio, it's right at the top. It's the, um, thanks for the hearts. It's the digital drawing about faces online course. And that's the easiest way to get into sign up and sign up closes um, midnight this Sunday. So it's a two sided class because on the same time that you're gonna learn three different apps to use for fashion illustration, my three favorite apps, you're also gonna learn, and like I said, each app is like $4.99. Um, you're also gonna learn heads, faces, heads, hair, and features. So a big thing that people struggle with with faces is they tend to focus on just the face, but we aren't just faces, right? A face always has hair, kind of, it, it all fits on a head. <laughs> you have all these different features and they all relate to each other and then you got some shadow and texture to the hair. These are all things that um, we bring together to make a fashion illustration of a face. <clears throat> so actually it's threefold because you learn technical tips for building a face that make it so much easier because nine out of 10 students struggle with faces. I was one of them. By the way, I have been teaching fashion design and illustration for 20 years, so at Parsons School of Design in New York City and online, so that's some of my background. Um, secondly, you it's technical, and then it's the apps. So I'll take you through, I'll walk you through three apps. So you can start to kind of, once you know, okay, less than two years ago, I'd never used an app to illustrate before. And I'm talking about freehand illustration, not click, click, Click. I'm someone who never wanted to learn Adobe Illustrator. I don't want to click and look at little tiny boxes with numbers in them. I want to express myself and create art. So these apps are awesome because what happens is when you download the app into your device, you get a full range of art supplies available to you. And the amazing thing is, I don't know what your life is like, but for me, if I take it, I, I believe I love like organic, raw, textural art supplies. But for me to use paint and colored pencils 
and water and pencil sharpener and paper towels and brushes and clean up and set up and I also have you know busy life family teaching all this stuff going on <clears throat> It was incredible for me when I got an iPad. When I bought the iPad, I didn't even know if I'd use it. When I started downloading these apps, I realized I had access to a full set of markers that never dried up in every color. <laughs> I had access to paints uh, in every color. And the cool thing is, um, I spent a lot of time teaching my fashion design students to mix paint. And it's interesting how in an app, you don't mix colors, you select colors. So it's actually easier to get the color you want digitally than it is analog. But believe me, I'm a strong lover of art supplies. My Freedom Fashion full fashion design program is all natural, like gouache, pencils, papers. But I love what I can do with this. I used to think that iPad and digital art had to be cold and stiff. It's not. It's very textural and rich when you know how to work it. So in the course, I'll teach you shading. I'll teach you texture. I'll teach you like proportions you can use so that when you build a face, it's always um, human <laughs> looking. <laughs> um, teach you some realistic techniques, but then I, I encourage you See, the third aspect of the course is learning the apps that each has a different style and quality and feel to it. I guarantee you one of them will become your favorite above the others, uh, depending on who you are, depending on your personality and your what you value in your art process. You're going to learn how to build faces, heads, hair, features, and create uh, an illustration or portrait. You're also going to learn through doing expression. You're just gonna learn more about yourself. You're gonna be using new supplies, which always heightens my sentence senses when I use new art supplies. I feel invigorated and I, I feel new. I feel like, um, it's almost like when you put a filter on a photo. <laughs> when you use new art supplies, it's like putting a filter on your creativity. You feel different. You see yourself different. You have a new experience. You don't have to have an iPad Pro. You don't have to have an Apple Pencil or any of that stuff. In fact, I created the course using my iPad Mini, but now I have an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil. Um, it has some enhancements, but honestly, I am just as happy with the very first illustrations that I did in my iPad Mini way back. The so. Apple no, you have to buy it. That's right. <laughs> That's my assistant, Angelina. So, um, fashionillustrationtribe.com. You can also get freebies for creating fashion sketches. Um, there's an inspiration for fashion design ebook there, and there is also that's free when you, if you subscribe. There's also um croquis templates that you can use to do design sketching on and a model drawing instruction video. That's all free. If you subscribe, you don't have to subscribe. But if you go into the menu header on fashionillustrationtribe.com, which is linked in my bio here, it'll take you to, um, it says Freedom Fashion Program and then it lists all the courses that are in the program. This weekend, I'm opening <clears throat> the About Faces Digital Drawing freehand digital tablet drawing class um, through Midnight Sunday and we'd love to have you in there. It's um, an hour per week as it's a four week class. You can do it all at once. You can stretch it out um, but it's about an hour of instructional videos and then assignment each week so that you can practice, explore, adventure. All of my courses have both a strong technical aspect because I've been teach training designers and illustrators for the industry for ever. But for me, it's very important that you're expressing yourself, exploring and having a sense of adventure and growth in the courses. So for me, um, 
I just recently completed a few online courses myself that I took as research from some fashion, uh, different kinds of fashion related courses in Brazil because I speak Portuguese and um, actually one of my former students was teaching one of the classes. So I took her class and I took some other designers classes online and it reminded me what it's like to be a student. And the three classes that I took so far, none of them were four. None of them, I didn't actually do coursework for any of them, which is interesting. Uh, instead, I just watched them. And just watching them, like each one of them changed my life, transformed me. And I love knowing that you're going to have that experience in my class. However, <laughs> I would love it if you also do the exercises and try the stuff out, which I know you will. It's going to change your mind about what you think is possible. I never knew what was possible. I was convinced there was no fun way to um, make beautiful art in the iPad or tablet. And I learned I was wrong. And I'm so glad I learned that because it's just opened up a whole new world for me. It's so portable and it's so expressive and it's so shareable. So like... I don't have to worry about photographing my work and having the lighting right. Like even to make a video, I have to worry about that. But when I create art in my iPad, what I've created is already, I can just screenshot it or save it to camera roll. It's already bright and beautiful. Um, so it looks great on social media. It looks great on websites. Um, up until I started doing that, I was having a terrible time trying to photograph my artwork and share it and have it look as fabulous as um, everyone else out there. It always looked cloudy. It always looked dark. Um, I definitely got more attention when I started using these apps. And posting this work on social media has brought me in a lot of new accounts, collaborations, friendships, and um, really, really made it such an exciting time to be alive and making art. So I wish the same for you. Share this with a friend tweet it out, Facebook it out, let people know because I will be closing the doors Sunday at midnight and I probably open this a few times a year. Depends. I'll probably, um, after I close this one, I'll probably open one of my other courses up in the upcoming weeks. Maybe pattern making, draping, maybe, um, and maybe my model drawing course. I don't know, but, uh, I'd love to have you in on this one. So if you have any questions, you can get me on the DM. I'd love to hear from you or comment below if you're catching this on um, YouTube or Facebook. All right. Um, actually, before we leave, if you're still here, I would show you very quickly, in case you don't know me or anything, some of maybe going to hmm, some of my, I'm going to open one of the apps, okay? Just to show you examples of the effects and techniques that you can get in the app. One of the apps. And believe me, I explored a lot of apps and I chose just these ones to teach. Because some apps I wouldn't wish on anybody. Some drawing and painting apps I find so miserable to work with. Here's one. Um, how do I close? I'm not used to working upside down. Hello, back. Uh, here's one I did just this week. Hang on a second. Okay. Now, these are bodies as well. The reason I, I did the faces as a focus for this class was so that you could be illustrating. Whoops without worrying too much about design, fashion design. Oops, I just drew a line without wanting to, okay? And, you know, have a focus that's a little bit smaller so you don't get overwhelmed while developing your techniques and skills. Okay, but notice how important the face is as part of the story. You know what I mean? The face... When you don't like, when you struggle with faces, 
no matter how much you like the way you drew your dress, you often feel like, oh, <laughs> I wish I enjoyed the face. Um, and when you like the face, it's interesting how you always like your drawing more when you like the face. So I encourage you to take that extra time to focus on faces. They do feel really hard at first sometimes. Um, that's why I created a course about them. And then if you focus on them, they get better. You start to realize as you keep doing them, like, oh, the same things come up over and over again until it starts to be more repetitive and you start to be like, oh, yeah, this is the lay of the land. Um, that's why I'm happy I created a course so I can kind of guide you through step by step. So I hope to see you there. Um, it's a limited time offer and I made it into a two payment plan so that it's easier to get in now. Um, and I can't wait to meet you. If you sign up today, you get to start right away. You get access to the course immediately. So come on down, Laura Volpin Testa of Fashion Illustration Tribe. And thanks for joining me today. Bye. I haven't been, there we go.